and today I'm going to detail the protective effect magnesium has on the liver and also how the liver suffers during a magnesium deficiency. Magnesium deficiency is extremely common today and magnesium deficiency is commonly associated with liver diseases. A magnesium deficiency in the liver contributes to oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, and overall impaired metabolism. Magnesium, as you know, is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body. And in our cells, you'll find magnesium in the cytoplasm, nucleus, and mitochondria. So as you can imagine, magnesium participates in a host of protective processes like DNA replication and repair. Beyond inadequate daily intake of magnesium, a magnesium deficiency can also result from a number of diseases and also as a side effect of, of some prescription medications. This deficiency can then predispose a person to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and even mental disorders. And magnesium deficiency is often a common feature of liver diseases like cirrhosis, alcoholic liver disease, non-alcoholic liver disease, and even liver cancer. Because chronic alcohol abuse remains one of the most common and significant causes of liver disease, today I'm going to focus primarily on alcohol-induced liver damage. The liver, as one of our most protective organs, is involved in countless areas of metabolism and the immune response, while also regulating the transportation and distribution of countless minerals and compounds, including magnesium. As just one example, the liver produces the protein albumin, which among other nutrients and compounds, is a transporter for magnesium in the circulation. In people with cirrhosis, blood levels of albumin decrease so sharply that magnesium transportation and balance can be easily disturbed. The liver is also responsible for activating and deactivating hormones as necessary, so when this protective function is impaired by any kind of liver damage or consistent stress, the dysregulated levels of hormones like aldosterone, growth hormone, and glucagon can then all enhance the urinary excretion of magnesium. Also, urinary magnesium excretion increases sharply during alcohol consumption. Magnesium is a significant component in mitochondria, and in cirrhosis, the reduction in cellular magnesium content negatively affects mitochondrial function and performance. This then leads to liver cell damage and significant reduction in ATP production. And you should remember that ATP, our universal energy currency, is largely useless without magnesium. When magnesium content in liver cells is low, immune cells like leukocytes and macrophages become very active, and they then release several inflammatory cytokines in the liver. The resulting increase in inflammation damages liver cells and contributes greatly to liver fibrosis, which is the scarring of liver tissue. Glutathione, our master detoxifying antioxidant, requires magnesium as one critical cofactor for its synthesis. Also, the highest concentrations of glutathione in the body are found in the liver. The amino acid taurine improves cellular absorption of magnesium when the two are taken together. Taurine also facilitates the liver's processing and removal of toxins, especially in a case of alcoholic liver disease or even non-alcoholic liver disease. Magnesium is also required to activate the liver enzymes that convert vitamin D from its liver-bound inactive storage form calcidiol into its active form calcitriol. All. This means that without magnesium, any vitamin D we take in from sunshine, food, or supplements stays in the liver as calcidiol. To get the benefits of magnesium and taurine together, look for a preparation of magnesium called magnesium taurinate. This is a preparation in which the magnesium has been bound, otherwise known as chelated, to taurine exclusively and try taking around 500 to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium every day because daily magnesium supplementation greatly preserves optimal liver function. And for those of you who drink alcohol, I hope this inspires you to drop it. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.